hi guys so happy deepavali to all of you i know that i am wishing late but this is my first tutorial after diwali so i thought that it would be nice to make some tutorials so today we would be looking for the metro ui css which i have shown you in one of my previous playlist so we would be expanding it and we would be making our website more cooler to look like a windows 8 app feature enough talking let's get started and show you the demo from where we have stopped so if we open the folder where we were working in my sublime text This is the folder metro UI in which I have created the index.html file. So if I run this index.html file in my browser, any of your favorite browser, you will see that the hello world is coming and uh, the time is showing up. So this was it uh, to get started with the metro UI CSS feature. So today we would be looking around adding a navigation. So if you go and get back into the official website, which is metroui.org.ua. And if you go under the widgets tab, you can see that there are certain sections. So if you go into menu, and if you click any one of this I will click application bar and you can see that there is a template given for you these are the templates and the classes that has to be used so that it will show to a particular styling and at the downside it has mentioned what it is all about so such as fully automated what does it mean use data load is equal to app bar so what it will do and why is it necessary to add it so these kind of a feature you can go ahead and look around in the documentation and use it according to it so you can add this feature also so yeah this is the template for it for the top navigation that you are seeing here so you have to look around and you have to choose which menu or which particular CSS you liked about and you can take the template out of it and you can show it in your website. So just for demonstration purpose, I am going to use this example app bar. So I will copy the HTML for it. And I will head back to my index.html file and I will add my menu here and just save this file. You know that already metro.css is being referenced. So whatever classes that we are using here is already defined in metro.css and we have loaded the jQuery and we have loaded the metro.js which is responsible for initializing the widgets. I will show you what is widgets in my next tutorial. Uh, so keep watching it. Uh, but for this tutorial, I would be adding uh, the navigation bar and the other CSS that we can do to make our website more cooler. So if I save this file and if I run this in my browser, you could see that now my navigation is being added and I could get into different different sections, right? So see, just for uh, copy and pasting it, you got this particular section. How cool is that, right? Now you can see that hello world and the days is very much left part to it. So I need some spacing to add some spacing. What you have to do, you have to make a 
you have to make use of a class known as container which is already defined in metro css which we have included in our head section of a document so if i save this file now if i run this you can see that hello world is shifted from left side to little bit have some spacing that's much cooler right now coming back to another section you can choose any navigation bar uh, it doesn't matter as long as you know for which website you are using and how it will look more nicer so let's see uh, in metro icon funds metro ui also provides you an icon but for using these icons you have to first import the necessary icon files so if you go into css and you can see that you have metro icons dot min dot css so to add icons what i will do i will copy this link tag and i will paste it here and i will write metro icons dot min dot css metro icons dot mints dot css so i will save this file but to use these icon files what i will do i will copy this up and I will make some div tag so that it will appear in next line not as an inline styling and I will paste it here I will save this file and now if I go it I should see some icons you can see that there are some icons these icons are very cool because if you don't like the styling of red you can change it to orange any color or yellow or blue so you can see that now it has been changed into orange how cool is that right so how you will get this icon wish to use so as i suggested you have to go into your official documentation go into widgets and from here you have to choose the icons tab and now these are the icons so if i click on amazon so what i can do i will copy this amazon and what i will do i will just put span again here to add the amazon and inside of myth earth i will just use amazon no that's not working okay uh, you have to prepend it with the name mef so this is all necessary so you have to prepend mif this thing so if i run this you can see that now we have amazon icon so if you want to include some another icon just uh, put registered uh, and again do the same part but before putting uh, registered what you will do you will write mif dash registered and you save this now you will have one more icon right so now you will be saying that okay i have cool icons but what about the height or what about the width it's very small you can change that by targeting the css itself so if you change font size to be 15 pixel 
save this file and try to run this file I believe that form self will not work yeah so you can see that font size now moved to 50 pixel and now it has increased so in this way also you can increase the font size how cool is that targeting the CSS properties and changing the icon dynamically right so these are about the icons let's see what we can more add to make the website more cooler so these are the icons that you can use it's very very nice icons so definitely it's worth it using in your website using forms and inputs if you want to have some forms checkbox will look like this so if I want I can add different different styling you can add switches right so these are all already inbuilt just copy and paste the particular section and there you go you have it in your website just for demonstration purpose I will take this switcher sorry and let's add some dev and I will paste the code here so if I save it if I run this now you have these switches right so you can toggle around this switcher right so this is very amazing that what things you can do so this was a quick tutorial about little bit more depth about the metro UI CSS I highly recommend it that you play around with these markups and HTML tags adding styling to your website which will make it more cooler thank you guys for this time and showing cool stuff uh, so this was a great fun uh, I really enjoyed the CSS framework uh, so these are just the parts of it right now later on in this series we will build a complete website from this CSS framework to show you how awesome is this framework so thank you guys for watching have a great day bye